हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस सॉल्व सम मोर प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन बाइनोवियल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन हियर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज एन इरेगुलर सिक्स फेज डाई इज थ्रोन एंड द एक्सपेक्टेशन दैट इन टेन थ्रोज इट इट विल गिव फाइव इवन नंबर इज टू वाइज द एक्सपेक्टेशन दैट इट विल गिव फोर इवन नंबर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन वॉट दे आर सेंग एन इरेगुलर सिक्स फेज डाई इज थ्रोन यू प्ले लूडो एज यू आर इन लॉकडाउन यू ऑल मस्ट बी प्लेइंग लूडो गेम i am very confident about that and what the question says it is the question is related to ludo i should say an irregular six faced die is thrown and the expectation that in 10 throws it will give five even numbers okay suppose 10 times the experiment is performed the 10 times i am throwing a die i am getting five times even number that means five times it will happen that i will get either of 2 4 or 6 okay and the probability or expectation that the uh, happening that i will get five times five even number out of the 10 it's twice it's two times the expectation that it will give four even numbers okay so four even numbers right so we will see question what is the question how many times how many times in 10000 sets of 10 throws each how many times in 10000 sets of 10 throws each would you expect it to give the give no even number how many times in 10000 sets of 10 throws each would you expect it to give no even number that means whenever when you are you are taking a reading for 10 throws 10 throws and when you are doing it 10000 times so what would you expect it to give would you ex how many how many times would you expect it to give no even number no even number means there will be no even number in the 10000 throws of that thing obviously the answer is coming out to be the probability is very less if you think it physically okay and don't 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 bother about or don't worry about this 10000 number we have seen one result of capital n it is just a matter of multiplying the answer by 10000 it is as simple as that okay so do not worry about that let p be the probability of getting an even number in a throw of a die obviously getting an even number here is a success let us talk about success and failure as we are in binomial distribution so i am saying that p is the probability of getting an even number in a throw then the probability of getting x even numbers in 10 throws of a die is very simple p at x is equals to x because we are throwing it 10 times 10 cx p to the power x into q to the power n minus x which is 10 minus x and x is running from 0 1 2 and so on up to 10 so i think yahan tak to koi doubt nahi hona chahiye aapko next is we are given that probability at x is equals to 5 that means probability of getting 5 times out of the 10 throws a set of 10 throws probability of getting 5 times even number is equals to 2 times the probability of getting 4 times even number it is given fact in the problem so what is p at x is equals to 5 it is 10 c 5 p power 5 q power 5 it is 2 times 10 c 4 p power 4 q to the power n minus 4 which is 10 minus 4 which is 6 so just unfolding the combination i will get 10 factorial into p upon 5 factorial into 5 factorial i think you are in a position to solve combination here now right combination which is equals to 2 times 10 c 4 how to unfold 10 c 4 10 factorial upon 4 factorial into 10 minus 4 factorial p power 4 into q power 6 so you will get here q only because when you send this q to the power 5 here you will be remaining with q to the power 6 upon q to the power 5 so single q will be there when you take uh, there is p to the power 4 in this side p power 5 upon p power 4 is simply p which is written here so p by 5 is equals to 2q by 6 and it is coming out to be q by 3 so 3p is equals to 5q which is equals to what is meant by 5 times q q is failure so 5 times 1 minus p so 8p is equals to 5 p is equals to 5 by 8 and if p is equals to 5 by 8 q will be equals to obviously 1 minus 5 by 8 which is 3 by 8 so probability at x is equals to x which is equals to 10 cx finally i am coming to the point now 10 cx as now as because p and q are with me everything is clear now it is probability at x is equals to x where x is a small x is number of successes 10 cx p power x that means 5 by 8 to the power x into 3 by 8 to the power 10 minus x so i will get what i will get hence the required number of times in a 10000 sets of 10 throws each we get no even number 
नो इवन नंबर वेन आई एम सेइंग आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू दिस एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो हेंस द रिक्वायर्ड नंबर ऑफ टाइम दैट इन टेन थाउजेंड सेट्स ऑफ सेट्स ऑफ टेन थ्रोज ईच वी गेट नो इवन नंबर इज इक्वल्स टू टेन थाउजेंड इन टू प्रोबेबिलिटेड एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हियर सो जस्ट पुट एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो ईयर सो यू विल गेट टेन थाउजेंड इन टू वेन यू पुट एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो दिस टर्म विल गेट वन एंड थ्री बाय होल्ड टू द पावर टेन सो इट विल बी टेन थाउजेंड इंटू थ्री बाई होल्ड टू द पावर टेन इज कमिंग आउट टू बी वन आई हैव टोल्ड यू बिकॉज वी आर नॉट कैलकुलेटिंग प्रोबेबिलिटी just understand the understand this concept okay we are getting the answer 1 and this is not the answer that we are getting 1 because of the it is not a probability that we are getting it is the number of times we are getting okay so it is the number of times we are getting because that that was how many times in 10000 sets of 10 throws each would you expect it to give no even number that matlab hum agar 10000 bar 10 10 ke combine 10 10 ke set agar die 10 10 bar die throw karenge aur no trading karenge to aisa 10000 mein sirf ek bar hoga ki ek bhi even number nahi aayega us face pe 10000 mein sirf ek bar so you can imagine the probability is 0.00 जीरो वन यस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो 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 वन इज अ प्रोबेबिलिटी जो निकालनी नहीं थी बट टेन थाउजेंड थ्रोज में सिर्फ एक बार ऐसा होगा कि एक भी इवन uh, नंबर नहीं आएगा इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन था ये इन अ प्रिसीजन बॉम्बिंग नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एंड विल स्टॉप इन अ प्रिसीजन बॉम्बिंग अटैक देर इज अ फिफ्टी परसेंट चांस दैट वन बॉम्ब विल स्ट्राइक द टारगेट देर वॉज सम प्रिसीजन बॉम्बिंग अटैक इज हैपनिंग एंड इन दैट इन दैट there is a 50% chance that any one bomb will strike the target okay there is one target and bombs are bombarding there it is a 50% chance that any one bomb any one bomb will strike the target next line two direct hits two direct hits are required to destroy the target completely okay the target is built in such a way that uh, we need two direct hit two direct hits on that target so that it gets completely destroyed okay how many bombs must be dropped to give a 99% chance or better of completely destroying the target a very important question i have told already about the importance of probability in engineering and science you can see here the ex, the uh, application of probability in defense system also everywhere we you will find probability irrespective of the field whether it is in science or in commerce or in share market or in engineering everywhere it probability is there okay and, and again it is a question of binomial distribution but nowhere it is mentioned we have to uh, assure that it is a question of binomial distribution how you can assure yourself that it is a question of binomial distribution because because either either it will strike the target or and it will dis completely destroy the target or it will not so success failure hence binomial distribution as simple as that we have p is equals to probability that the bomb strikes the target is 50% obviously 50% means 50% is itself a probability 50 by 100 which is 1 by 2 let n we have to find n here let n be the number of bombs which should be dropped to ensure 99% chance or better of completely destroying the target which is the question so we have let that parameter the answer should be n this implies that the probability that out of n bombs at least at least two strike the target is greater than 0.99 whole to the power n do you agree to me it is nothing but it is 0.99 whole to the power n is, is different it is another way of writing 99 by 100 whole to the power n do you agree with me it is nothing but it is it is as good as writing uh, 99 upon 100 99% i am saying na so when i when i am saying percent obviously 100 will come to the picture and i am doing it n times so power mein n rahega so 0.99 whole to the power n all right let x be a random variable representing the number of bombs striking striking the target then x is related to binomial distribution n p is equals to half with probability at x is equals to p at x is equals to x is n c x p power x q power n minus x where p is half so q will also be half so it will be n c x 1 by 2 whole to the power n i think yahan tak koi dikkat nahi aani chahiye we should have important step ye nahi aaya to ye question nahi kar paoge we should have probability of x greater than or equal to is greater than or equal to 0.99 why i am writing this 
बिकॉज एट लीस्ट एट लीस्ट क्वेश्चन पे जाते हैं फिर से एट लीस्ट वेर इज दैट लाइन नो सो नॉट एट लीस्ट टू डायरेक्ट हिट्स आर रिक्वायर्ड टू डायरेक्ट हिट्स आर रिक्वायर्ड टू डिस्ट्रॉय द टारगेट कंप्लीटली दिस टू डायरेक्ट हिट्स आर रिक्वायर्ड सो आई आई डोंट वॉन्ट वन हिट I don't want one and a half hit. I don't want one point nine nine hits. I want at least two direct hits. Three is okay for me. After completely destroying the target, again if it is hitting the target, I am okay with that. But I want at least two direct hits. Please understand. Okay, that is why this line is here. That is why this line is here. That is why this expression is here. Probability of x greater than or equal to two is greater than or equal to zero point nine nine. Obviously. 0.99. We want 0.99 percent chance. We don't want anything uh, uh, less than that. Okay. So pr pr probability at x less than or uh, sorry greater than or equal to two can be written in terms of failure as one minus probability of x less than or equal to one. Do you agree to me? Because probability of x less than or equal to one, probability of x less than or equal to uh, sorry two. So when I am saying when I am saying probability of x less than or greater than or equal to two, I am talking about one minus this thing. This I am here. I am talking about success. Here I am talking about in terms of failure, but the same thing. So it will be one minus probability of x less than or equal to one is greater than or equal to zero point nine nine, which is one minus. But x less than or equal to one. Me kya kya aata hai zero or one. One khud aayega because less than or equal to sign hai. One se niche bhi aisa bhi ho sakta hai ki ek baar bhi aapka target hit na kare. ओके okay. ऐसा हो सकता है कि एक which is, which comes under probability of x is equals to zero. ऐसा भी हो सकता है कि सिर्फ एक बार करे. ओके एंड दिस वन माइनस इज टेकन केयर टू गेट दिस इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट नाइन नाइन सो वन माइनस वॉट इज पी एट एक्स इज इक्वल पी एट जीरो यू विल गेट एन सी जीरो पी पावर जीरो क्यू पावर एन माइनस जीरो सो ओनली एन सी जीरो एंड एन सी वन होल एंड कॉमन इज वन बाई टू होल्ड टू द पावर एन इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट नाइन नाइन सो यू विल गेट वेन यू मैनुपुलेट द थिंग्स इट इज इट इज होल द होल थिंग इज इन टर्म्स ऑफ एन नाउ एंड वेन यू फाइंड when you, when you solve it you will get 0.01 is greater than or equal to 1 plus n whole to the power 1 uh, 1 plus n upon 2 to the power n implies 2 to the power n into 0.01 is greater than or equal to 1 plus n that means 2 to the power n is greater than or equal to 100 plus 100 n how to solve this inequality you will solve this inequality no need to solve you just need to uh, go by hit and trial method okay yeah they have written here itself by trial method we find that the inequality star this inequality is satisfied by n is equals to 11 aapko isme rakh ke dekhna padega n is equal to 0 n is equal to 1 2 3 4 when this be, when this is being satisfied closely okay this expression star hence the minimum number of bombs needed to destroy the target completely is 11 so we need 11 bombs to destroy the target completely under the given circumstances and this is how binomial distribution is useful in solving practical engineering problems or practical problems okay all right